How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to ship directly from one of your wholesale suppliers to Amazon and what that's going to do is allow you to cut down your shipping costs because you're not going to incur any of those costs to ship from your supplier to you which is honestly the more expensive part of shipping because when you're shipping to Amazon you're getting that 20 to 40 cents a pound rate which is going to be way better than your personal rates are going to be and that's also going to be able to lower your laid time which is the time between your order and then when your products are ready so if you can get that lead time down every day that you have your products in stock that they wouldn't have been it's worth the amount of sales that you make to have your lead time that much better so your lead time going down is going to let your profits go up and let your velocity of capital increase because you're going to be able to cycle through money faster and faster, which is the goal of the game when you're dealing with Amazon Wholesale. It's a pretty simple process, but it's a very important one if you're able to work it out with your suppliers. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to say that only about 20% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the big button down below. It's free, helps me out a ton, and you can always unsubscribe. Thanks. So the first thing you're going to need to do, obviously, is to have a product. In this case, I'm just going to use these biotin gummies as an example. So we're going to grab this ASIN. We're going to go over here to Inventory Lab. We're going to click New Batch. And you're going to do FBA. It's going to be private. Your packing type could be case packed in this case. If you're a supplier, or maybe if you're buying one item, say you're buying five boxes of 50, and you know that they're going to be case packed, you can just do case packed, and that's going to um, decrease the likelihood that you get a split shipment. I use that pretty often for my own OA from my house, where I'll just case pack everything, say 20 units in one box, and then it's not they're not going to split that up from me. So then in labeling preference, you're going to have to go to FBA should label and reject that cannot be labeled because in this case, obviously, you're not going to be able to label them. Sometimes your supplier can label them. I like to let Amazon do it just because then they can't blame me if something goes wrong. Maybe your supplier stickers the wrong place, something like that. Um, just to be on the safe side, I like to let Amazon do it. And then you're going to just leave these alone unless you're doing an LTL shipment. But typically, you're going to do a small parcel. So up here on your ship from address, it's going to have your typical home address or wherever you're shipping out of. But in this case, we're going to have to add a new address. And then in this box, you're just going to fill in whatever the details of your new supplier is. Um, and then that's going to save this address and put that on the shipping label for the end. And then this is also going to affect which fulfillment center it goes to. So we're going to go ahead and click save on that. And then you're going to create a shipment. Make sure that Amazon's labeling, make sure you've got it from the right address, the your new supplier's address. And then you're going to go up here, you're just going to type in your ASIN. You're going to go through the regular process on Inventory Lab. I'm just going to do it with one quantity so I don't mess up my um, back end very much. And then down here, you're just going to click Add to Batch, regular old Inventory Lab stuff. And then it's going to go ahead and print out these labels for you. After you're done labeling these products, you're going to go ahead and click Review Batch. And then you're going to press Submit. And then you're going to leave this box checked. And you're going to press Sync. But then once you get to here, you're going to click Create. And then this is going to create the shipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to create it. We're going to go ahead and go over to check this box down here. There's going to be a little alert that shows up that tells us when the shipment is ready to be sent to Amazon. After we do box contents, so we're just going to go ahead and assign this one to that box as just an example. Uh, you're going to press your, your weight and all that here. I'm just going to type in some example numbers here. Make sure it, your, if your supplier is shipping in boxes, make sure that they aren't above 25 inches in any dimension if it's not a single product that is longer than 25 inches. So say you've got a, like a gun holder or something that's probably going to be longer than 25 inches. That's okay to be in a box that's longer than 25 inches. But if you're doing boxes of vitamins that are really light, make sure your supplier doesn't pack those in a box that's bigger than 25 inches in any dimension. But after you're good with that, you're just going to press submit. And this is going to send it over to Amazon Seller Central. And then after a couple minutes, it's going to show up that green box I was talking about. And then you're going to just go ahead and head over to Amazon. So after that goes through, you're going to go over to your FBA inventory page where you're going to just check your shipping queue. You're going to click work on shipment. So once you get within the details of this shipment, you're going to leave small parcel checked. You're going to leave that checked unless you have an arrangement with some other carrier. Um, you're going to go down here. Usually this should have stored from inventory lab but it doesn't really matter I'm not sending this in anyway so I'm just gonna do a little example there you're gonna press calculate it's gonna calculate the shipping on that you're gonna press I agree and then you're gonna accept the charges 
and then down here on step five it's going to ask you for the ship date so usually your supplier would get it out the next day or the day after so in this case i'm just going to say they would they would have shipped it out on monday so you're going to press print box labels and it's going to open it up in another tab there's a bunch of info that i don't feel like blocking out right now it's just a shipping label you guys know what's there but then once you get this label downloaded you're going to go ahead and download it and send it to your supplier and then from there they're just going to slap those on the boxes and it's ready to go to amazon just like that it should be pretty simple so that's going to do it for this tutorial on how to ship directly to Amazon from your supplier. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run. Uh, if you have any questions about the process, feel free to drop them down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff helps me out with the algorithm a bunch. Um, that's going to do it for this video, thanks guys.